Assalamu alaikum dear students and welcome back to learn daily physics so now the time has finally come to drive this equation and this equation is a very important equation because in our next topics when we are going to find the toroidal force here it is curved magnetic field and we will talk about toroid and this is the gradient B drift this equation will be used okay so now we are going to drive out this equation how this equations come and why we we drive this equation and why in our graph we have this E cross B this is E vector cross B vector along this Y axis okay why we have this in this direction okay so let's move on toward our derivation and moving on toward our derivation we have derived this equation in the previous lectures we have derived this equation and this was the equation number six of our equation number six so from the above equation you can see that uh, we have discussed it in detail and i've told you that when e was equal to zero and when e was not equal to zero what was the difference between this these equations so there is a change in b of y okay and what was that change this was the change as from the above equation you can see that there is a change in in v of y and by the factor this factor okay this factor is changing in this equation okay and e of x and b of z are fully independent of time there is no time dependence they are space dependent factors okay they are not depending on time so the change is this is the change and this change is time independent and this independent change time independent change is called drift okay this motion is called drift the motion because of this time independent change is called drift so calculating this change we have f is equals to q into this is the Lorentz force and as we've told you that velocity is not changing with respect to time it's changing with respect to space okay when it's changing with respect to space you can see here that dv by dt will be zero because there is no time dependency there is time independent so v derivative of v with respect to t which is acceleration will be zero when acceleration will be zero ma will be zero so q into e plus v cross b will be equal to zero now q dividing here goes to zero q will be zero so e plus v cross b will be equal to zero now the tricky thing comes what is the tricky thing that we are going to taking the we are going to take the cross product of these two terms from right what does that mean that we are taking a cross product from right let's see i tell you that what is a cross product when you take a cross product of some uh, i told you that a cross b is not equal to b cross a you know that very well you know it i think you know it how this mean i can write this as a cross b is equals to minus of b cross a i can what is the difference between this huh? the difference is about the direction when you're talking about a cross b a the direction will be taken from a to b okay from the right hand rule or left hand rule whatever the rule you are using the direction will be from a to b okay but when you you are taking b cross a it means that the direction is from b to a now the direction will invert so I am the ta I'm taking the cross product from right means that every term which I've multiplied will be on the right side okay it will be on the right side it won't be like this that 
you are multiplying in the first term it is multiplied from the right side and in the second term you are multiplying from the left side it won't be equal you know that when you are multiplying this from right so b is multiplied here from the right side okay b is again multiplied here from the right from the right i have not written this b from this and uh, i should have i can take this cross product from this side now another term here is this vector triple product and this vector triple product is equals to that v dot b into b minus b dot b into v and how this uh, you have to study vector triple product uh, easily you can understand easily from this we know that velocity and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other they are always perpendicular v perpendicular we have a v perpendicular and we told you that v perpendicular is always you can write a v perpendicular here also okay so v perpendicular here v perpendicular here and v v perpendicular with all of these this v perpendicular is perpendicular at 90 degree with this magnetic field and when it is perpendicular to the magnetic field v dot b will be equals to v b cos of theta and v cos theta is equals to 90 degree v b will be equal to 0 so our this term will be equal to 0 and this is the self product v dot b will be equals to b square a scalar scalar quantity the self product of a scalar quant uh, of a scalar product is always a scalar quantity so it is not a vector quantity b square is a scalar quantity and this is written as it is e cross b this term goes on the right and i've switched it up and b square of v is equals to e cross b and v is equals to e cross b b square now another tricky thing comes that this uh, you can write v perpendicular is equals to e cross b and in your book because of this drift velocity is of the change in v of y this is v perpendicular v perpendicular and v perpendicular you can write this v perpendicular with all of these previous values from start so this v perpendicular is because of this v of y there is a change between uh, this v of y and there is a difference in y we are having a drift because of the change in the time independent change in v of y so the v perpendicular will be in the direction of e cross b okay so here in the y axis we are writing this e cross b because this v perpendicular is the drift velocity and it is along the y axis and y axis its direction is as same as e cross b okay so this is our drift velocity and we've calculated this drift velocity v perpendicular is equal to e cross p over b square and this is also called the v e the transverse component of the equation where v is the electric field drift of the guiding center okay electric field drift we can call it as an electric field drift so today's lecture is over now and i hope you understand everything and it's quite a little bit lengthy but you have to understand once you've understand everything you've understood everything it's an easy thing for you it will be a hot cake for you and you can eat whenever you want but first you have to understand what we are doing why we are doing so thank you very much for your time and assalamu alaikum